Have you been struggling to correctly add reCAPTCHA to your contact form 7? We are here to help. reCAPTCHA helps you prevent spam submissions from bots, securing your contact form 7 from unauthorized submissions. However, in order for it to work, you must integrate it with contact form 7 properly. In this video, I'll show you how to add reCAPTCHA to your contact form 7 step by step. I'll also talk about the most common issues that may prevent your reCAPTCHA from functioning with practical troubleshooting tips to fix them. Adding reCAPTCHA to a contact form 7 isn't actually a complicated process. You can easily do it in three steps. Step 1. Register a site on Google and get the API keys. Step 2. Add the keys to your website and add reCAPTCHA to a contact form 7 in the final step. You can generate API keys by visiting Google reCAPTCHA admin page and registering your site with Google. Here's how to obtain API keys. Visit the Google reCAPTCHA page. Sign into your Google account if you haven't already. Choose your reCAPTCHA version. Remember, your latest WordPress Contact Form 7 version works with reCAPTCHA version 3. If you still prefer version 2, you may need to downgrade your Contact Form version. Enter your domain in the Domains field. Make sure you enter the address correctly. Accept the reCAPTCHA Thompson service and then click on Submit. Once you click on submit, the page will generate your site key and secret key. You'll need the keys for the next steps. Step 2. Configure reCAPTCHA in Contact Form 7. Now that you have generated your API keys, you'll be setting up reCAPTCHA for Contact Form 7 on your WordPress dashboard. Here's how to do it. Go to your WordPress admin dashboard and click on Contact Integration. Under Integration, you'll find reCAPTCHA. Click on Setup Integration and you'll see fields for API keys. Enter the site key and secret key that you got from Google reCAPTCHA admin page. Click on save changes. After entering your API keys and configuring reCAPTCHA, you'll need to add reCAPTCHA to your contact form 7. This is an optional step for reCAPTCHA version 3. As I already mentioned, your latest version of Contact Form 7 works with reCAPTCHA version 3 by default. If you still prefer using the v2 version of reCAPTCHA, you may need to downgrade your WordPress Contact Form 7 version as well. Anyways, here's how to do it. On WordPress, go to Contact, Contact Forms. You'll see the list of your forms. And then choose a form where you want to add the reCAPTCHA and click on Edit. In the form editor, add the reCAPTCHA shortcode, which looks like this, and then click on save. And that's it, your reCAPTCHA will be added to your contact form 7. You can now test your forms to know if your reCAPTCHA is working properly. Now that you've added reCAPTCHA to your contact form 7, let's talk about the common issues that prevent reCAPTCHA from functioning. reCAPTCHA can sometimes run into problems and frustrate you. Sometimes it doesn't work from the beginning. And sometimes it stops working once you make an update on your website elsewhere. One of the major causes is a mismatch between contact form 7 and reCAPTCHA versions. Sometimes your reCAPTCHA might stop working after you update your contact form 7. It's because as I mentioned earlier, the latest WordPress contact form 7 version works with reCAPTCHA version 3. You can solve this issue in three different ways. By reverting your WordPress Contact Form 7 update to the previous version, by re-registering your site on Google and reconfiguring it with Google reCAPTCHA version 3, and by using additional plugins that support reCAPTCHA version 2. Another common cause that makes a reCAPTCHA to not work properly is the wrong site key or secret key. It's common to accidentally paste wrong values in the site key and secret key fields. Maybe you pasted the site key into the secret key field or vice versa or typed an extra space or character without noticing. And it's easy to solve. Simply check the values on your WordPress and make sure it matches what's shown on Google Recaps Admin Console. Or you can just delete the existing values on WordPress and copy them over again just to be 100% sure. Make sure you copy and paste the values instead of typing them out manually. The next common issue that prevents your recaps from working properly is putting your domain name on Google in an incorrect format. Incorrect registration of your domain name on Google can cause a reCAPTCHA failure. Just putting your site address and nothing else is the correct way to do it. JavaScript not loading properly on the footer section also avoids your reCAPTCHA from working. 
the capsa won't work if your theme doesn't load properly. The issue with this case is that you may not always notice a theme failure instantly. To fix this issue, try switching to your default theme and then switching back to your custom theme to know if there's something wrong with your custom theme. Don't worry, switching themes will not erase your data and settings. Test your CAPTCHA while activating the default theme. This will help you understand if your CAPTCHA issue is related to your theme. In worst cases, switching themes might not solve your JavaScript loading issue. In that case, you'll want to contact your theme provider or WordPress developer. And that's all for today. I hope this video helped you understand ReCAPTCHA and how to add it properly to your contact form 7. Subscribe to previous channel for more troubleshooting tips like this and sales tips for small businesses.